and we are back welcome back to the channel my name is lag and this is arc ascended and today is ribbit's big day this is my uh, frog that we got a few episodes back we're going to be taking him into a cave today known as the swamp cave a couple of things i need to do before we go in the swamp though and the most important of which is to make a gas mask and you can make the gas mask on the fabricator so i'm gonna make two of these then i'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna take off my clothes, all of them. And the reason for that is if you go into this cave and you get hit by an Arthopleura, it's gonna break your armor and it's gonna break your gas mask. Then you're gonna start taking damage from the gas and die. But if you're completely naked and you get hit by an Arthopleura, it's not gonna break the gas mask. The game only sees the gas mask as armor if you're wearing armor. So if you go in naked with just the gas mask on, it won't break because of the Arthopleura. We should probably go out to the uh, greenhouse here and get some healing brews and maybe even some antidote. I'm not sure if there's bats in this cave or not, but better safe than sorry. So I'll bring the antidote and the healing brews with me. And I kind of think that's all we're gonna need. I am completely out of metal, so I can't make any more shotgun shells. I only have 12 of those, so we're not going to be using the shotgun much in this cave. But other than that, I think we're ready to go. Now, I don't know if I can do this cave with a frog, but I swear in the past I have done this cave with a frog. This is probably the least confident I've ever been in any of my creatures going into a cave, but we're going to give it a try because it's going to be fun. And I think we're just going to hop all the way over there because it's not too far away. Hey, check it out, man. Look at this. We are so close. We have got all the artifacts except for one. And then we're done. We're going to go fight a dragon, beat the dragon, and then pretty much the game is over. There is one final boss after the dragon. Don't know if we're going to be able to beat him, but I will definitely give it a try. So if you guys are enjoying this series and want to continue to see more all the way to the bitter end, drop a like, leave a comment. Let's hop our way over to the Redwood Forest. Oh, by the way, I figured out what's going on with the border of the screen. If you can see it right now, maybe in the video, it's anytime I get a status effect on my dinosaur or me, the game usually puts a border around the screen letting you know, hey, you just got venom or your dinosaur's super damaged and, you're, and it's losing health. It'll put red around the screen. Anytime one of those special effects are around the screen, it gets all pixelated now. And that was after that update that screwed up everything. They still have not fixed that. I get pretty bad performance in the Redwood Forest, so hopefully we get there without any crashes or anything. That's what I'm hoping for. But it's not too far away. It's right up here next to this lake that I'm going to go past. Yeah, this lake right here should be up here on these cliffs straight ahead. Also, we got to watch out for thylas in the trees. They can pounce on me. The Redwood Forest is just one giant hazard. Oh, we're here. We actually made it with no problems. Good. Okay, let's just go in. I guess I should put on my gas mask now. I don't really know when the gas starts to affect you, but better safe than sorry. Let me go ahead and hot bar the medical brew and the antidote. So Ribbit has two attacks. He's got a tongue lick that just goes straight. Then he also has an AOE tongue lick that goes left to right, just side to side. So you can kill more things that way. And that's the one we're going to use. Now, being on Ribbit though, I'm not very safe. I'm going to get hit by a lot of stuff. So I am going to have to keep an eye on my health this whole time. I do have my gas mask on, even though you can't see it. Uh, it is on. If I go in first person, you can see that it's on. Uh, other than that, let's just go in here and get ourselves an artifact. I don't really know where to go. I'm hoping this cave isn't that confusing. Uh, I do not remember the last time I've done this cave, but it sure is pretty in here. Lots of stuff. All right. Oh, what's that? Oh, we got bugs. Bugs. Meganera. Those things can hit me while I'm on my mount, the Mega Nura. Look at that AOE. And every time you kill a bug and eat it with your frog, it turns it into uh, cement paste for you. So I'm gonna have a ton of cement paste when we leave here. So far, just a bunch of bugs that I can't really see because they're sitting beneath the uh, foliage. Looks like we got a snake in front of us. Not anymore, we don't. Good job, Froggy. Yeah, we'll just keep hopping forward a little bit at a time. We've got a lot of snails in here, and I can actually tame a snail. At some point, I should definitely do that because they're just kind of cool to have. We can put them in the greenhouse, and I think they produce their own cement paste as well. But you need the uh, veggie cakes to tame them. 
And I know how to make veggie cakes. If you watched the last episode, we did the hardest cave in art. Check it out if you haven't already. It was awesome. Woo, there's a lot of these Mega Neuro. I don't know why they're not attacking me. They're just sitting there, which is really odd. I wonder if they're all underground, actually. No, I can see them. I can see all their wings fluttering. Usually they come at you. Why aren't you, why aren't you guys coming at me? Okay. Oh, they're coming at me. That was a mistake. I should have left well enough alone. I should have left it alone. Okay, we're fine. How's my health? Yeah, I lost a little health there. Just a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna take a med brew for that. Now the frog is another creature I was warned about not being able to do a cave, this cave. We'll see about that because that's what y'all told me about the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus did that cave just fine. In fact, I'd argue that the Stegosaurus is better than taking a Baryonyx. All I needed was more veggie cakes, but you just cannot deny the convenience of not getting knocked off of Stegosaurus by all of those badgers that were in that snow cave. It just makes it so much better. All right, we got snakes. Let's go, snakes. Meganura. Yeah, so for my money, definitely, I would take a Stegosaurus in there any day of the week over a Baryonyx. The Baryonyx only advantage is that he can heal really fast when eating fish in that snow cave. But like I said, you're gonna get knocked off 11 bajillion times on a Baryonyx. That is a real number. Okay, I'm just trying to take out all of these Mega Neuro, which are like dragonflies, really. Again, I'm glad they're not attacking me. It's making it very easy. Not sure why they're not. I feel like I can hear the artifact. It's like on the other side of this wall or something. So we've got a way we can go that's this way. And then we've got a way we can go that's that way. And my rule of thumb is anytime I see like alien weird stuff, I go that way, which is behind me. But I do want to clear this out first. I wonder if these bugs just don't mess with frogs like they know better. Like if I was on here on a different dinosaur, would it be coming at me? Maybe. Oh, spiders. Oh, here they come. They're coming at me now. Woo, it's a swarm. Okay, we got him. All right, let the frog get its stamina back and we'll move forward. I kind of just want to see what's this way before I go the other way. What is this room? Oh, good, there's a drop in here. I'm glad we took the time then. Let's kill some stuff. More bugs. Oh God, there's snakes everywhere in there. I see snakes. They're coming. Just keep licking them with your tongue, Ribbit. You'll get them. You got one. Man, this cave is so easy when you compare it to the... Oh my God. Oh God. Oh my God. Look at all this. Oh my. All right, I'm gonna take a healing brew. Took one. Kill the Arthropleura. Kill it. What in the hell? Woo! What was I just about to say out loud before that happened? I am so happy this cave is way easier than the snow cave. And then that happened. Good grief. Okay. Ribbit lost a couple thousand health during that exchange. All right, let's get rid of that snake. Now, we gotta watch out for leeches down here too. I didn't think about that, but yeah, I probably should have brought something to make a fire with in case I got leeches. Then I could burn them off. Yeah, there's leeches down there. I see them. We'll get them. Or I should say I saw their nameplates. Yeah, they're down there. It's good. We're going to get a lot of leech blood in this cave. But I am not hopping off until I'm sure all of these leeches are dead. Man, they're even in the grass over here. Okay, got... I think that's all the leeches. Let's see. Any more? Oh, no. One more over here. Being sneaky. All right, we could probably get off now without getting leeches stuck all over my body. What'd we get? Boo, a journeyman metal sickle and some arrows. I'll take the arrows. Pretty sure I have an ascendant sickle at home, so I don't need that one. Just wanna see if there's a way we can go. Oh yeah, it looks like there's another way you can go in here. Look how tiny this is. Oh, no way, you'd have to get off your frog to go in there. Not doing that yet. We'll come back this way if this other way's a dead end. Oh, all right, let's head out of that room. Let's go back to where I saw the alien stuff on the wall and we'll see what's this way. Yeah, I can definitely hear the artifact. I wonder how far into this cave it is. Now I don't hear it so much anymore. Yeah, it's like over there somewhere through that wall. Might have to go like a really roundabout way to get to it. 
Uh, I got a lot of water down here, which probably means more leeches. Where do we go from here? Not really sure. We'll figure it out in a second. Let's kill all the bad stuff first. Bad stuff. Snake. Ow. Find your manners, Titan Boa. There's another one over here. Yeah. Woo! Get in there, Ribbit. Oh, yeah. There's a way to go that way. And there's a way to go this way. And what about over here? Is there anything over here? Yeah, there is. Good lord. There's like three different ways you can go. Well, hmm. Let me take a look. I'm getting off. This may be a mistake. I think this might take me to that room that we were just in. Maybe. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's the loot drop room that we were just in. So good. All right. We can cross this way off our list of ways to go. We have two options. We can go straight ahead, past that tree there, or this way. I want to go this way first, I think. It's, okay. Easy there, Ribbit. Easy there. Go through the hole. Bugs! Got him. And now we got two more ways to go. Oh, wait. This has got to be a loot drop right here. Yes! Another loot drop! I have found two in this cave already. This is great. Damn it! It's another metal sickle, except this one is ascendant. And just in case I don't have an ascendant one at home, I will take that. And I'll take these simple bullets too, because that's what I use to make shotgun shells. So I'll take a few of those. Why not? We keep going past that loot drop. It looks like it goes around and down. But then also, man, there's so many ways to go in this cave. Also, if we backtrack just a little bit here, it looks like there was a way we could go this way as well. This kind of looks like it's overlooking... Oh my god, what is that? Oh! Oh! Megalonias! Is that what they're called? Got it. Yeah, these things. Komodo dragons. Killed it. Jeez. Let's just go in here and see what's in here. Is this the room that we were just in? Yeah, okay, so it just drops back down into this room here. All right, well, we only have one way to go then. Process of elimination. All right, this is the new way. Haven't been this way yet. And then now we've got more ways to go again. No way, this has got to be that same room. Yep, this is the same room. Okay, so each of these paths led to the same way, basically. Except now we want to go this way. A whole new room, a red care pack just for me. Sorry about that. Sometimes I like to sing, all right? I feel like I'm getting about 20 frames per second in this room for some reason. It's not good. It's not good. We'll fight our way through it, though. I'm getting that red loot drop. With the exception of that one, I think I hear another Megalonias? Uh, Komodo dragon? I heard something kind of growling. I don't know what it was. Uh, with the exception of that one swarm, though, I, this is a pretty tame cave so far. I like it. Of course, because I said that, I'm really going to regret it at some point. Lots of leeches. Yes, I am struggling a lot with the performance in this cave. Well, just this room so far. Actually, the rest of the cave's been fine. I shouldn't say that. Um, so, not bad. Maybe it'll get better once we get out of this room. I am just going through the frog's inventory. And look at that. 6,000 cement paste. 490 leech blood. This is interesting. What is giving me pearls in here? I'm getting Sicilia pearls from something. Unless he had those on him before, I don't know. All right, are we good? Can I get off? No, there's one more leech. One more leech. I'm gonna get off now. See what we got. Transfer all. Get back on the frog, just in case there's a stray leech or two heading my way. And what did we get? We got ourselves a Brontosaurus saddle. And, uh... An Ascendant Blueprint for Fabricated Pistol, but we don't need that, so I'm just going to throw that out. And then some cooked prime fish meat. Wonderful. Ooh, some more spiders up here. Looks like he's stuck on a couple snails, though. Come on and get some. Stupid spider. Come on. Get him, Ribbit. Get him, Ribbit. There you go. Good job. Wonderful. So many snails. kind of wish I had brought some vegetable cakes. We'd have a snail right now. At least we know where to go to get some snails. All right, we've got um, a left and then a right. And then there's the alien technology again, so we'll follow it that way. Uh-oh, bugs. Lots of Mega Neuro right here, too. Let's go ahead and kill these while we're right here. I don't think I'm doing any damage to the snails. I think their shell's protecting them, I think. 
I'm just now noticing that my gas mask is taking a tremendous amount of damage. Now, I don't know if that's from the bugs or if it just depletes on its own. But luckily, I did bring a backup, and maybe I should have brought in a couple of backups. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Let's keep her moving. Oh, it's getting real narrow in here. Can I squeeze through? Yep. I guess this is the reason you want to bring the frog. Good lord, I can't see where I'm going. It's so tight in here. Okay. Oh, I hear the artifact. I think we might have found the artifact room. It's right there! Easy! Well, 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 Mr. Artifact. Which one are you? The Artifact of the Immune. Oh, I forgot to bring, I forgot. No, I forgot to bring Biscuit. I can't get two of these. Well, I can come back though and get a second one. That's just what I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, I guess if you had the Baryonyx, you wouldn't be coming through this part with the Baryonyx, but there weren't any bad guys, so it's not like you needed the Baryonyx. You could have hopped off and just walked right up to the artifact and grabbed it. Now, what is this way? Before we go, there could be another loot package in here, so let's go see. It's a lot of bugs. I found some bugs. Oh, got a snake. More bugs. How are we doing? We holding up? Yep, we're fine. Frog's fine. Everybody's fine. Okay. Another snake. Got him. Think we're good? Yeah, pretty good. I see an Arthur Get it. Oh, there's a lot of them. Ah. Or maybe just two. Maybe just one. Hard to say, really. Come on. You can do this, Ribbit. It's a tough one. There you go. Good job, Ribbit. Okay. All that's back here is another XP crate, it looks like. And I'm gonna nab it. I have lost roughly 4,000 health on the frog. I've already healed it up one time. But that last battle did another 1,200 damage. Uh, so probably roughly 4,000 health. So if you have a frog that's like six, 7,000 health, you could probably do this cave with a frog just fine. And I also did go ahead and swap out my gas mask because as you can see, this one was about to break. And now I've got this really good fresh one on. So I think we're fine. And I do think they deplete on their own. I'm gonna go this way. There was another place we could go. So let's see what's down this tunnel. I might have to hop off here actually. Okay, hold on. Let's backtrack a little bit with the frog. And I'm going to get off and walk this, and let's just hope there's nothing horrible at the end of this tunnel waiting for me. Got my shotgun ready, just in case there's anything crazy at the end of this tunnel. What is this room? I don't know. Where are we at? Have we already been here before? Oh, we're back in the blue room again. Wow. Okay. Man, that would have been a really nice shortcut to the artifact, because this tunnel takes us right to where we just got that XP crate, and then right next to it is the artifact. So we could have gotten the artifact super quick had I known about that shortcut. But my frog can't fit through there, so I would have had to somehow do this with just uh, 12 shotgun shells and a sword, I guess. <laughs> probably wouldn't have happened, so it is probably best we went all the way around. Okay, let's find our way out of this cave. I think it is this way, maybe. Easier said than done, finding your way out of a cave sometimes. But I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track here. Should see a tunnel of light soon. Yes, I do. We made it. We did that cave so easily. Let's get back home and place our brand new artifact. Try not to get attacked by a Thyla on the way out of here. Are you going to take fall damage from this? Oh, God, yeah. Okay, no big jumps with the frog. Good Lord. Chunked off like 20% of his health just then. It's weird, though. You would think the frogs would be cool with the big jumps. Hey, look, an XP crate right here. I'll take it. Just saw an egg on the way home. I want to see what kind of egg this is. What are you? You are a Titan Boa egg. Cool. It'd be awesome to be able to hatch one of those, but it's not a fertilized egg, so maybe I can use it in a recipe or something for some kibble. Although I think our days of taming are over. Won't be using any more kibble. I think I've gotten every dinosaur that I wanted to get for this adventure. There is still the giant elephant uh, that I put into the game using the mods. We haven't gotten one of those yet, and they take beer, so we might still get one more dinosaur before the series is over. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Yeah, what's going on, guys? We're back. We got ourselves a new artifact. Yeah, I guess you're retired now. You can stay in the pool if you want to. Man. Look at this collection we've got here. And this one, the Artifact of the Immune, looked really cool. It's like a giant egg. 
So this one's like a giant egg also. They're both very cool. These are probably my two favorite. The only thing our display is missing now is a flag with a dragon on it. And we're going to be taking care of that on the next episode. My Therizino army is ready. I've uh, started making some saddles for them. All I have is default saddles, though, unfortunately. And I've still got quite a few to make. So I'm going to have to go on some metal runs for the next couple of days to get enough metal to finish making the saddles for these guys. And I'm also going to make a bunch of vegetable cakes for them as well so they can heal up during the battle because the dragon does breathe fire, which is going to be lingering damage to these guys. So if they have some vegetable cakes, that should be pretty helpful. But alas, that will do it for today's video, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and as always, it's been your boy Lagan24, and I will see you uh, next time.